ladder. Perhaps they won't be able to find me if I go up there. That's where I need to go, but I need to find a way past them. Nothing this way, but more danger. There must be another way to find you. I need to turn back. There's no getting past them that way. That doorway looks like the only safe way forward. Closed tight. No way but forward, I suppose. chance. Invisible. They can't see me at all. I can get closer to them. This is the way forward. Finally free. Now where are you, Neve? run death thus far, but have yet to find me. Keep searching, but this time you will be unable to hide. Wield the wand you see before you. Do not squander its extraordinary power.
Revelio. Rebellion. Bombarder. 
Descender. Depulse. Defender. Finished. Pass through the mourners ahead. Nothing is what it seems. I can't believe she's dead. Dear sweet Neve. Dead. <laughs> Neve. We won't be the same without her. You found me, but you cannot undo what has been done. The magic of the stone can only conjure a shadow of my former self. But there is no light without shadow as there is no shadow without light. Simply because you can eliminate darkness does not always mean that you should. Remember that as you witness my memory. Dora, what you did for your father was remarkable, wasn't it? And Percival needn't worry about the strands of emotion or the traces that this magic leaves. 
I found a way to contain all of it. You haven't stopped. Goblin Silver. You spoke to a goblin about this. Don't worry, he has no idea what we're containing. We don't know what effect any of this may have. The emotions, the dark traits... You sound like Percival. And as it happens, I do know. It is a source of strength, of focus. Somehow it enhances my ability to wield magic. I don't follow, Isadora. I think we can harness it. Power like this is not to be toyed with in the wrong hands. You saw again. what I did for my father. Only have imagined the good we could do. Everyone is in some kind of pain. What are you doing? Breathe it in. Oh, can you feel it? Oh, Isadora. This must stop. All of us. You've kept this power to yourselves for so long because you fear it. I choose to embrace it. Rebellion. If the rumors are to be believed, you've taken to increasing the beast. Is it true? Has someone completed the first three trials? It is, and I have. But you are so young? I know. You must be Professor Bakar. I am. Pleased to meet you. The pensive memory I just witnessed was Isadora inhaling painful emotions. She was. I found it disturbing. But how did she gain power from it? How did she harness it? It was disturbing. Although, I wonder that you are asking about her power. I hesitate to reveal the location of my pensive to someone who, perhaps, has yet to understand the responsibility of power. I can assure you, Professor, I do. In fact, what you don't yet know is that a dangerous goblin called Ranrock has accessed the repository at Rookwood Castle. He has learned to harness the contents of it as a source of immense power. He plans to use that power against wizardkind. We have no time to waste. I see. Nonetheless, the knowledge you shall gain after you witness my memories is too valuable to share without further consideration. I shall require time to confer with the other Keepers. It seems we have no choice but to wait, frustrating as it is. I heard what you told Professor Bakar. Isadora was inhaling emotions to gain power? She was. And she pulled emotions, as she did from her father, from Professor Fitzgerald without permission. Monstrous. What's more, she said that she found a way to store the traces of magic she extracted in goblin silver. The repositories? Possibly. There's something I didn't get a chance to tell you earlier. Ranrock has been digging at locations tied to the five names he found in the journals of a goblin metal worker named Bragball. Five names? The Keepers, and who else? Isadora Morganak? Precisely. That's how he's been one step ahead of us. Gringotts, the Tower, Rookwood Castle. If the Keepers won't tell you where the next trial is yet, I say we at least maintain a watch on Ranrock. Perhaps he'll lead us to more information. Perhaps. I hope to hear from Lodgok soon. I haven't heard anything since I learned of the drills. Oh, and as you've probably guessed by now, your Polyjuice plan worked like a charm. I knew it would. I may have done too good a job distracting Black. I had no idea he can't hold his fire whiskey. Huh. 
Handy resource in view. I shouldn't have reacted so bitterly about your goblin friend. I apologize. I hope we can finish what we started with the triptych. Please meet me at the southern coast. We can search for the final canvas piece. Rebellio. Some exciting news to share. I'll look after you. Some exciting news. Hello, Deke. Indeed, Deke does. Uh, Deke knows that you want to learn about all sorts of beasts. And Deke recently heard rumors of a phoenix nest in a nearby mountain. A phoenix nest? I wonder if it belongs to the phoenix Natty mentioned, the one Harlow and the poacher pack are after. Deke would not doubt it. If Deke has heard of it, surely the nasty poachers have as well, which means it could be in danger. Well, I'd better go and rescue it then, hadn't I? Indeed think so. So majestic a beast should not fall into such vile hands. Deke is not sure why, but Deke feels that saving a phoenix might help to make amends for what happened with Deke's prior master. Deke hopes that you are able to find the phoenix and bring it to the room where it will be safe.
can't mm. imagine how inconvenient mm. travel was before I invented Rebellion. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Not saying I don't cast the odd cleaning spell when you're... Is everything all right? Oh, bless you. Oh, thank you for asking. I'm Betty. Betty Bogbrook. And no, everything is not all right. It's my dear friend Hazel. Oh, she's in trouble. Hazel? Yes. Oh, she's a unicorn. Known her for years. She doesn't like to leave the forest, so I visit her once a week to brush out her mane and bring her some treats. <gasps> her coat is glorious. Well, the last time I saw her, we were violently attacked by a pack of wolves. Hazel, loyal friend that she is, leapt in front to protect me, and in the process, I fear she may have been injured. I'm sorry to hear that to help her, but she seems to have gone into... I know you Hogwarts students learn a fair bit about caring for beasts. Perhaps you could find my unicorn friend. I'll keep an eye out for your unicorn friend and take her to say... Oh, you've a good soul. I can always tell. I don't know precisely where she is, but I can tell you that her den is north of Hogsmeade. And although I haven't been able to brush her lately, I imagine she still has the brightest, most beautiful coat of her entire herd. Remember, you'll know her by her brilliant coat. I met a girl once. Looked like an <laughs> I need to look for a unicorn with a beautifully bright coat. It sounds as if she's in trouble. Rebellion. Perhaps I'll scout around for Accio. Let me answer. Is this your... Redactor. Redactor. Conjuring. 
You're the little son that saved Treadwell. Akio! Stupid fight! Let's play the fray, shall we? You. Some of them. Hazel must be here somewhere. I can take Hazel back to a vivarium now. I should let Madam Bugbrook know she's safe. Meet, here I come. <laughs> Madam Bugbrook, I found your unicorn friend, Hazel. Oh, what a relief! Is she all right? Are you all right? 
Do you have a safe place for her to stay? We're both fine. And I have a safe place for her at Hogwarts. You've a kind heart, you do. I'm relieved and thankful that you'll take care of her. I shall miss my sweet pointy pony, but I know she's safer away from the poachers. Do give her a nice brushing for me, won't you? Take good care of Hazel now. Oh, will there ever be another one? Revelio. An astronomy table. Should prove useful once the sun's down. Poachers are already here. Revelio. My fault you're a deadly great spider. Confringo! Revelio! Confringo! Revelio! seen how much a single feather fetches. <laughs> Just imagine the whole blooming bird. Oh, should have stayed at the castle. Good for you. Where's that goblin helm, you little They say you incendiary. Good for you. That you can't. Good for you. Why not see incendiary? Incendio! 
More poachers? How many are there? It almost seems as if it wants me to follow it. I need to find it before the poachers do. Revelio. Alohomora. There it is again. Huh. 
There's a victory that came none too soon. Ugh. Revelio. Protego, stick to Akio. Can bring them. Rebellion. Around here can sleep a bit easier. Revelio. Rebellion. Hello. I'm here to help. I can take you somewhere safe. Let's get you back to the room. Deke's going to be pleased. Revelio. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful.
Potions you've brewed. Did you find the phoenix? Yes, Deke. And I rescued it from the poachers. I have it here. It's safe. Remarkable. Well, what are you waiting for? Deke cannot wait to... Keep it close. Professor Weasley and Deke were right to tell you about the Room of Requirement. Look at all you've done, and how many beasts you've rescued. A phoenix is safe now, because of you. I couldn't have done it without your help, Deke. Thank you. Uh, Deke is grateful for the kind words and also grateful to have been of assistance to someone like yourself. Helping you do such good for so many beasts has given Deke a sense of peace Deke hasn't known in years. Deke will always be here for you when you need him. you've brewed. <laughs> 